Now if you remember from our previous video series, uh, the Houdini Auto Game Dev tool set that we did on the, it's on my R Station page or my YouTube channel, uh, we use the blast nodes to separate things out. We'll go ahead and use the split node for this. We'll hit tab and then start typing in split, hit enter, and then drop a split node in here. Now, speaking of using a blast node or a split node, there's a lot of different ways to do things in any 3D program, especially when you're considering Houdini. I'm not gonna be showing you the one way to do it or the best way to do it, just one of many ways that you can accomplish the end goal that we're gonna be achieving. And I'm gonna show you a couple different nodes and a couple different ways of doing things just to kind of show some different workflows and possibilities. And then you can decide uh, based on what you're working on, what's gonna work best for you or give you the best result. So having said all that, we have a big warning over here. If you middle mouse click this, you're gonna see there's not enough sources specified. That's because we don't have anything plugged into that split node. So let's go ahead and uh, we can click and drag that file one into the input of that split node. And now if we click on the split node, you can see that warning is gonna disappear because now we have an input. With the split node selected, you're gonna see we have different options available to us. When you have the file selected, the file node, these are all the file node options. And we click the split node, these are all the split node options. So with the split node selected, uh, we're gonna go ahead and split out one of these things into its own basically its own node so we can manipulate it differently than the other pieces because there's going to be different things we're going to want to do to the body uh, that's going to be different than what we want to do to the headgear, uh, etc. So a couple different ways we can do this. One, we can click this little drop down arrow here and because we have this file input into the split node, we have these options available for, this, for us to split. Now, so we're going to go ahead and say body high. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and click this little blue button over here. That's going to turn on that display render. And now with this selected, you're going to see we have the body selected over here. Now everything else didn't get deleted, it still exists, it's just on the other side of the split node. So if we zoom in on the split node here, they're gonna see on this side, this little output is gonna be whatever we put in this group here, and on this side is gonna be everything else. So if you wanna see that, let's go ahead and make these a little bit more tangible. So what I'm gonna do is I can hit a tab, and I'm gonna type in null, and hit enter, and I'm gonna put a null node over here. So I'm gonna take this left output, and stick it over here in this null, and if I want to, I can hold down alt, and drag out a copy of a, a node, and now I'm gonna take this right output and stick it into this null. So now with this null selected, and then I'm gonna click this little blue visibility icon, you're gonna see here's everything else with this in the, that's packed into this null, and then over here on this null, we have the body high. So essentially what this did was allow us to go, hey, you know what, give us our body high and split it in this direction, take everything else and split it over here. Now if I wanna continue splitting this, what I can do is I can kinda of daisy chain uh, some splits. So let's type in, or let's hit tab, type in split, Let's drop this in here, and instead of going to a null, let's go ahead and take the split right output and put it into its own split, and we can go ahead and just delete that previous null. So now if I select this split node and go make it visible in my viewport, we're gonna see this is all we have uh, available to us. So let's go ahead and split that headgear out. Now instead of using this drop-down menu, you can also go in here and click this white arrow, and if it's easier for you to click that and then go over here and select something, so in this case we'll select our headgear high, and then uh, down there at the bottom, it's gonna say select geometry and then hit enter when done. So we go ahead and hit enter. And that's gonna put headgear high into that group name. And now this split node is gonna have our headgear over here to the left and then everything else over to the right. So one more time, we're gonna hit tab and then type in null. And then plug that in. You're gonna see this is our headgear and then everything else uh, is gonna go over to the right. Now, in order so we don't get confused, let's go ahead and uh, label these. So what I'm gonna do is double click that null and type in body. And we're gonna double click this null and type in headgear. And let's keep splitting. So I'm going to hit tab, split. And you don't have to split everything. If you if you want to come, you know, use this grouping of objects to do things, uh, then by all means feel free to lead them. But I'm going to go ahead and split them all out so we can go over some more Houdini functionality depending on the object type. So in this one, let's go to this drop down menu and select eyes. Let's drag off a null copy. Replace that. Double click this. Type in eyes. Drop another split node, make it visible. And now we've only got glass and teeth left. So let's go ahead and grab glass, hold down alt, drag out a copy of the eyes, or you could just type hit tab and type in null if you want, but we'll go ahead and call this one glass. And then we'll drop in another null. And this will be whatever's left, which is our tooth, or in this case, we'll call it teeth. So here we have our original file up here. If you ever want to see it, you can just click on it and then make it visible. Let's click the little blue icon. So here's our file, and then we have it split into body, headgear, eyes, glass, and teeth.